Okay, we're going to talk about duty cycle. Here's the display from my duty cycle on my power source. Um, duty cycle, the definition is the percentage of one period in which a signal is active. So what does that mean for a tattoo machine? When the circuit's complete, when it's on, when it's active is when the front spring is touching the contact screw. And what happens is when it turns on, when it touches the screw, it turns on and it pulls the armature bar away from the contact screw, turning it off. So your machine's just turning on and off. Now, a 50% duty cycle means that 50% of the time your spring's touching the contact screw and 50% of the time it's touching your front coil or it's away from the contact screw. So if you have a 50% duty cycle, that means you're running evenly. It's not spending more time up than it is down which if you have a machine that's running evenly, you're gonna get nice even color and nice even lines. So 50% is about where you wanna be. So this machine, okay, this machine's running about 45 duty cycle which means that it is down more than it is up. Now, one way to change that is to bring my contact screw closer to my front spring just by turning it, turning it down a little bit. And a little bit more there. You can see that the more I go down on the screw, the higher my duty cycle gets. The more I back off, the lower it gets. So, That's about 50 right there. But do I still have a good gap in there? Yeah, I still do. So that's one way you can change your duty cycle. Another way you can do it is to make this spring back here, your rear spring, a little bit tighter a little bit shorter which will make it spring up quicker again the more you can make your springs and your armature bar go up the higher your duty cycle is going to be if you want to lower your duty cycle you want to make everything go down so loosen your screw on your rear deck if you want it to go up, you would push in. If you want it to go down, you would push out. Because when it's out, there's not as much up pressure. When it's in, it's a lot tighter and it's gonna pull up. This actually pushes down on the spring, which if it's pushing down back here, it's like a teeter-totter, it's gonna push this side up. So that's one way you can change that. So if you want to raise your duty cycle, push it in, tighten up your screw. But another thing real quick, if you need a little up pressure, flip your spring around and push it up.
and you'll see if I put some pressure on this up the springs gonna stay up so when I flip it back around it's gonna push up on your contact screw more which is gonna raise your duty cycle if you need to lower your duty cycle bend this down make it a little more flexible and that's going to lower it. 